Hey guys, this is Stormhawk152, and today I'm bringing you this first impressions video of Battlefield Bad Company 2. I got the game earlier today, and this is one of my earliest matches. I've never played this game before, which is, I know is surprising to some people because it came out a little while ago. But, yes, this is my first time ever playing it. It's a very, very, very fun game. I really, really enjoy it. And I would highly recommend it to anyone. Although it's very, very different than most games in the market today. I mean, sure, it's another shooter, but it's a very, very different feel. If you've ever played the new Medal of Honor, it's like a hybrid. Medal of Honor is like a hybrid of that and Call of Duty. That's another one that I got, and I'm hoping to post some of that. But Battlefield, it's very, very huge maps. So you're going to have to get used to running around. As well as having... A different feel to the weapons, if you know quite what I mean. It's a very, very different feel just all around. But the vehicles are well balanced. I mean, they're well balanced in Call of Duty too. But you know, in Call of Duty, you get a chopper gunner, you're gonna take people out. I mean, sure, you can be taken down with an RPG or two, but who has an RPG as their secondary? I mean, you want a pistol. You want close, short round, short range. I meant. <laughs> But on Battlefield, you know, it's all about the big stuff. And I mean, you everybody at their just their regular base can just find a tank. Go around, drive it. The maps are huge. Helicopters. No, oh, excuse me. Helicopters. And everything can be taken down really easy. The one thing that doesn't make much sense to me is, I mean, the destruction is awesome. I mean, you can blow up anything. You see a lot of times I'll just like, there's a guy machine gunning in a window. Just pull out grenade launcher attachment and bang. And that's like standard. <laughs> I think everything in this, like, every single class has some sort of explosive. So it's not noobish for all you Modern Warfare 2 people that are like, he's using a noob tube. No, everybody comes with that standard. It's not cheap. And, I mean, you can just blow buildings in half, and it really changes the whole map. I mean, you can go to just, like, total ground war with no cover because you blew it all up. <laughs> And I adjusted a lot more quickly than most Call of Duty fans. Because, I mean, I played a lot of Black Ops before I played this, so I, I, there was definitely some adjusting to be done. But I have not... I never really got really into the multiplayer. I think I will. I definitely will. And I have really enjoyed what I've done so far in it. But I have Battlefield Bad Company 1 for a while, and that campaign is amazing. And the controls are pretty similar. Although I didn't... Although I'm used to just, like, clicking the R2 button, I believe. Yeah, the R2 button to pull out my rocket launcher. And I pressed the R2 button and I knifed. So I was, like, knifing a wall. <laughs> Everybody was like, what are you doing? But yeah, and that's that's the one thing that I was about to get to when I was saying, this is the one thing I don't get, explosions are awesome. No, I get why explosions are awesome. I was about to say that the destruction's amazing, but your knife can go through a door. I mean... Then a knife would slice through a door, maybe, but, I mean, you knife and the door explodes. It's just like, I have power in my knife. But anyway, first impressions of Battlefield Bad Company 2. The guns, although they feel really different, are very, very well powered, very well balanced. Um, all the guns, even though I'm a, like, a very, my first time ever playing, I'm still using the same gun, and I'm still killing a lot of the higher ranking people so none of the guns are really underwhelming they're good for all around all the classes class support's really good um, squad support's really good if you want to get with your friends you can get a squad together and then hear them on headset and you can really do a tactical that's one of the best things about this game there's a big tactical focus and you can use a lot of teamwork the spawns are really good because you can spawn right on top of your teammate or at a random main location on the map. They added squad team deathmatch as well as the rush and conquest modes. There, There's just so much to do in this game. And the campaign, though I haven't started it yet, I hear is amazing and I can't wait to try it out. This is so far one of my favorite games. I mean, it's... I... Modern Warfare 2 had great multiplayer. I still play it split-screen with my friends. And the online was good at its time, but I, it, it's just so saddening to me that pretty much only hackers play it now with a small 
And there's a small few like us that are like, Modern Warfare 2 is a great game. I, I want to play it online. And then, but we find that not many people play it that aren't just regular people. You know, like there, there's a bunch of hackers on there, and uh, they're doing cheap stuff, not like noob tubes, as I said about the rocket launcher stuff. But I mean, it, it's just Modern Warfare 2 isn't what it was. And Black Ops still, I think I got, and I think Black Ops actually improved over time. I have Black Ops, it's one of the main ones I play. Modern Warfare 3 is really, really good. And Battlefield Bad Company 2, when it was a big competition between Medal of Honor and Metal, uh, Modern Warfare 2 and MAG and all those, it was pretty much even with all of them, I think. And now I think Modern Warfare 2 kind of shot itself in the foot because the, it was so good in its time, and Modern Warfare 3 is so good now that its own sequel kind of caused its popularity to drop. And I mean, that's that's true with this too, I mean, Battlefield 3. But, I mean, Battlefield Bad Company 2 has still just as strong as of a community. The servers are really, really dedicated. As I've said, I love the tactical aspect. I mean, it's not like real war exactly. I mean, no, it's actually kind of the opposite. I mean, it's outrageous. You can blow buildings in half with one rocket launcher. But it's just a big focus on teamwork, and there's more of a, you know, I mean, like, if you just want to blow stuff up, that's one thing. But if you want to actually get some, you know, teamwork value out of it, there's actually a lot you can do with this, and it's a good social event. You know, get together your friends, play Battlefield. I love vehicles. I mean, you can almost just play a racing game just by, you know, like, getting in an ATV and driving around the snowy map. The map variety is wonderful also. I, I played three different matches on three different maps, and all of them are totally different. I mean, here I am in a tank, and I get two kills, and then... All of a sudden, I just start blowing up. So I, I just run away. I mean, if you see my Starhawk videos, I get so scared in vehicles that I'm going to blow up. <laughs> but, I mean, it's just a perfect blend and balance. DICE always does a great job. So does Treyarch and Infinity Award. I, I'm not saying I chose sides. I'm not sure. I don't get why there has to be sides, you know? Battlefield has all that Call of Duty doesn't. And Call of Duty has all Battlefield doesn't. And Medal of Honor, even though not many people play it, I don't really know why. Because it's kind of a hybrid of the two. It's kind of an acquired taste, but I, I really like all three. I mean, I think all of all people should experience all of them and stop arguing of which is better. Because I bet most of you probably own both of them anyway. And yeah, we, we have about 40 seconds left in the video. But, yeah, so that that's pretty much my thoughts. I really, really enjoy this game, and I, I kind of want to get off this commentary just so I can go out and play it more. That's just how good this game is. It's, it, it's, yeah, sorry, I, I can't talk. It's as addicting as Call of Duty, and I think that any shooter fan should definitely go pick up this game. I got it for $10 at GameStop. The prices have dropped tremendously. And it's a wondrous game I think everyone should get. So this is Stormhawk152 signing out. For more Battlefield Bad Company videos and more gameplay, just be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And subscribe to Def Clan Gaming. Signing out.